Leonardo AI has now just released Elements, which is essentially a type of style you can add to your AI artwork, but it actually gets added on top of the model that you're actually generating images with. They've managed to add 17 different models into this release, and there's more in review and currently on the way. Leonardo AI are sponsoring this video, so let's dive in and have a look at what they have to offer. When you're logged into Leonardo AI, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to your AI image generation section and bring up your image generator. So I've got some settings turned on where I've added photo reel, alchemy. Uh, I've got two images and I've basically chosen a cinematic filter. And I've got a cyborg woman, uh, cyberpunk machines, crying in pain, electric cables, desolate power station, black clouds, nightmare, something pretty dark and gritty. And without any elements added, I have this effect here. And the photos and images are pretty good. But the way this works, if we want to add elements and apply different styles to this image, there's a button here that says add elements. I click on that button and I get a few options. So there's up to 17 in here uh, at the moment. As you can see, we've got toxic punk down here, tiki, pirate punk. We've got all these different styles that we can add on top of our current setup. And I'm gonna actually, I can add up to four at a time, but I'm gonna click on biopunk and crystalline and click confirm. And the way it works is I can actually adjust the weight of these prompts and how much they'll affect the image. So I want the biopunk to be sort of more present than the crystalline. So I'm gonna bump this up to say 1.4 and bring the crystalline element down to about 1.8. So we're leaning a little bit more towards that biopunk style, but we still have some crystalline in there. Now we can actually go into negative weights and get a result that way as well. So that's worth experimenting with because you can still get some different results. Generally speaking, the best results are uh, between 0.2 and 0.8. But we'll stick with our 0.8 and I'm going to generate to see what results we get. And check out the difference. If I scroll down here, you can see we've got more biopunk and crystalline sort of impact on this image. And we've changed that subject a fair bit. If I click and open, these images look pretty cool. You can see that very deliberate difference in style. And again, I can continue to play with these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few more elements up top here. Something I think will actually mix with this and give it a pretty good result. I really like Lunar Punk, that sort of flat panel style. So I'm gonna add that in as well. And it says here, selecting more than two elements may have unexpected outcomes. So we're gonna actually do that, bring the weight down and see what we can make happen. I'm also gonna to choose Toxic Punk and click confirm. So now we have all these different elements available. I'm gonna bring the biopunk back a little bit to about 0.7, crystalline back to about 0.3, lunar punk down to about 0.7 again, but toxic punk, I'm gonna leave it at about 0.8 because I really like that overall style. So taking the exact same prompt, all the exact same settings, except we've added these four styles, we're gonna get a pretty, uh, pretty crazy mix. I'm gonna hit generate and see what we get this time. So you can see how it's really changed that image again. If I click on this image, because it's really cool machine style, and it's really mixed up those, uh, those styles all together. But you can see we've lost the woman because a lot of the strengths were just a little bit too high. So now I dial a few of those down and I have Toxic Punk up a bit higher at 0.7 and I'm able to get these results. So I take a closer look and we've got a bit more of a toxic punk style mixed in with some of our other styles. So I've personally found it it's good to sort of have one style lead a little bit, but uh, experiment with this and see what results you get. And you see just how easy it is to take some of these different styles and just kind of blend them together. It's a really simple interface, really easy to use. And of course, if you're experimenting, it's easy to just simply go through and remove any you don't want. So if we stick with toxic punk, bring the weight up, you can see what kind of results we get. Again, check out these results. We've managed to go back and away from the machinery, back towards the human element, and it looks pretty amazing. Being able to play with these different styles, I find it's a really a great way to adjust what you're looking for. So by simply adding styles and using those sliders to change the strength, you can take more control over your AI imagery. So let's experiment with a few different styles of images. I'm gonna change my font to a cartoon monster, incredibly phonogenic urban street in the style of V-Ray, soggy, evocative ambience, akin to environmental portraits, high visible quality blue and red color palette. I'm going to remove this element. And again, we're going to generate an image. And on top of that, we're also gonna generate with a few other. We're gonna go into add elements. And again, we're gonna add biopunk. Click confirm. I'm gonna change photo reel to creative. 
and then generate again. And again, check out the difference. We have our first two images, which were made without using elements, which look pretty cool. But then we add biopunk and we actually get that biopunk style sort of woven into the image. So you see how easy it is to create some pretty cool imagery with these sort of elements to mix the styles. So why don't we try playing around with some different styles that are on the board here to see what we can come up with. So I created this image of a girl mixing ingredients in a kitchen, just using Dream Shaper 7 and Alchemy, and I've added a gingerbread element to it, and I got this image, and that was with a weight of 0.5, and the image looks pretty good. But I wanted to see what happened when I put the weight up to one, and I got this image, where she actually starts to turn into a little bit of a gingerbread with the hat. So you can see how that style is uh, influenced at different levels using that particular element. And again, with Dream Shaper 7 and Alchemy, I created this sort of like elven rogue, no elements added whatsoever. So I added Baroque and I got this particular image. But then I thought I might try and mix a few more in there. So I added glass and steel, and you can see how it's kind of been given that steely, glassy kind of look to it. The contrast is up, everything has a shinier appearance. And overall, it's just a, it's a pretty cool looking image. I then added Inferno and I brought the strengths down a little bit, but overall, this was then the next image. So kind of blending those styles together has created something really unique. And I think overall that uh, it's a very powerful uh, sort of tool to be able to add these styles to your images. And now I've created this mecha with a laser sword and it's just a, it's a pretty cool image, but pretty plain. But when I add Inferno to that image, all of a sudden I get a completely different image. There's literally infernos and fires and all sorts of things really sort of going on in this scene. And all I've done is add in the inferno element. And this was simply with a strength of one. So just basically the default. Now using Leonardo Diffusion, so a slightly older model, there's actually also another element there, which is uh, sort of very specific to that model. So this one here, which is ethereal, just like a, a serene environment, it is a really great looking image. But when I add surreal collage, I get something very different and almost dreamlike. And it's actually kind of really taken it to a different sort of style. I have this other image here also. And overall, just the tones and the overall environment just has a bit more of a specific style to it. Then I have this tarot card style of a beautiful woman. Uh, which is just a very kind of cool uh, sort of effect with the background and the details of the designs, almost a uh, slightly Art Nouveau style to it. But add the ivory and gold element to it and it changes the color and the costumes around a little bit. So we get that sort of lo lot more gold looking elements within and a very light sort of dress. Then I switch to ebony and gold and I get this black and gold look. So by applying those two those sort of two different styles, uh, we get a different look again. So overall, it seems like a pretty cool feature and I highly recommend jumping in and having a play. Remember, you can blend up to four styles or just simply pick one. And the weight recommended to use is between 0.2 to 0.8. And as you add in more, you might want to bring some of those blends down to get better results. And again, try working with negative weighting to see what kind of results you get with that also. And on that note, we have our tarot card style image and we're going to actually go through and we're going to go to remix. And you can see I've got ebony and gold at 0.7. Let's bring that back to 0.3 and see what we're able to get with that instead. Notice now how the ebony has kind of been taken out. It looks like we've got a lot more blues and colors in there. And it looks like it's actually really taken in a completely different direction. So I think that's actually a really cool effect and something a little bit different that I wouldn't have considered. So playing around with negative weights can also be a lot of fun. So once again, I highly recommend going to Leonardo.ai, logging in and playing around with elements. It's a lot of fun exploring these different styles. People have been creating some really awesome imagery out there and uh, it's an exciting time for AI art and for Leonardo AI in general. And again, thank you for Leonardo.ai for sponsoring this video and for building such an awesome platform. I love playing with this platform. As you know, I've made many videos on it. So uh, check it out for sure. And there's a link in the description if you want to try out Leonardo.ai. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and I hope you had a great day and I hope to see you again soon.